Are you ready to start an adventure? Of course! Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video on my channel. In this episode, we're gonna take a look at Pokemon Break Bros Victors. And since I know that you guys have seen this part often enough, we're gonna make it a bit faster. For a bit of variety on a starter choice this time, we're gonna pick Mudkip. And we seem to have our first race. <laughs> okay, back at it again. I forgot my parents. And my instant tech speed is revoked. Okay. Okay, now I have them. By the way, you see this bag? Apparently it's an option in this game to have a rivalry bag. But... It said it doesn't match with my t-shirt, so... <laughs> but nice idea. Okay, battling Jack again. And it doesn't work. Um... Excuse me? Okay, every time you crash, your text option turns off, and now my text is super slow. Also kind of weird because I save past the starter choice. Saving really slowly. Turning on instant text and... Saving again. Yep. Walk to the right. Be careful. And... Nope. <laughs> okay, I tried three times. Now, now I'm gonna wait for the death. Alrighty, it's... One week later, and a, according to the updates, finally fixed it, so let's see if we can battle Jank. Woo! We can! Nice! Okay. Minus one Jake. Only took one week to beat. Easy. <laughs> meanwhile, as I said, one week passed, and the codes they had back then, meanwhile, expired. I already talked to Dry. Ooh. I already talked to Dry about extending those. Uh, and he said, oh, true, so I don't know if he's going to extend them or not, but I really hope. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My parents being kidnapped is a bit more... <laughs> a bit more jumpy this time. Oh. I haven't seen you on Rule 1 yet. When I'm trying to beat this way too tanky encounter, I think it's a good time to thank all the channel members for supporting the channel. Guys, did you know that Water Gun does a lot more damage if you subscribe to this channel? I didn't. Damn, it's Jake Zoo. Wee. Whoop. <laughs> Don't forget your Nuggy, guys. Nuggy. Hey guys, want to see a magic trick? I can get this quick ball without encountering this trainer. Gonna go here. Gotta take my quick ball. Quick ball. <laughs> Gotta take my quick ball. And... Zip! Da -da -da -da. <laughs> Probably the most useless magic trick I ever did. <laughs> By the way guys, if you ever had issues with the first gym, get yourself an Encada. Many, many times I used this quick ball for an opera, but Ninkata is definitely more useful, especially at the start. Why is Ninkata so useful? It's background, therefore not affected by electric moves. And of course, don't forget your Eevee. Oh, a Trico! Means Victor's gives you the opportunity to catch starters. Um. Okay, now I'm kind of scared to kill it. <laughs> ah, this will take a while. Okay, so Trico kind of low. The problem is that it's using Absort, which doesn't make it easier. The problem is that I don't have enough Pokeballs, I think. Let me check the catch rate. Okay, we have about 45%. Uh, yep, nice. That's gonna be my carry for Gym 3. Okay, I currently have my Mudcap level 15 and all these, but I'm gonna show you how to do that with Nankata. As mentioned, Encarta's background, so it won't be affected by Electro moves, and it has a really strong move, which is Leech Life with a power of 80. Okay, level 7 Encarta versus level 11 Electric. Leech Life. Decent amount of damage for four levels under uh four levels under him. And as you can see, he can't do anything against me. Thunder wave number two. I'm not taking damage. And he's down. Boom! 
Boy number two, Electric level 10. I don't know why it's weaker than the one before. Ah, oh, because he has two. Okay. Thunder Wave doesn't do anything. Leech Life does damage. Damn, Quick Attack. Okay, that does something, but it's not really strong as we can think. And also, Leech Life is giving us HP back, so we are back at full HP! Okay, the second one is Mareep at level 10. Which is using Growl to make me weaker. Can't do that. But in the end, it will still die against me without a chance. Leech Life. Getting two back. Thundershock. No effect. Leech Life. Getting three back. <laughs> Last tackle. Leech Life. Boom. 17 HP out of 24. No problem. Okay, last but not least, we have our gym leader chat of the gym 1, at least with a proper battle theme. Shinx 13 and Carter 8. Let's see. Charge. Okay. Okay. It begins to charge power, raising its special defense. That doesn't help against my leech life. It keeps charging. What's a, what is it charging? Charge beam. Oh, <laughs> it doesn't affect me. <laughs> oh, I love it. And now it keeps charging. <laughs> awesome. Okay, a last charge and it's dead. Okay. Okay, the last one here is Pikachu. And Pikachu starts with Thunder Wave, which surprisingly me doesn't affect me. Charge beam doesn't affect me. Quick attack affects me. Damn. But we're getting half of our damage back. Ah, we're paralyzed again. Yikes. Quick attack free. Leech life giving back. And it's dead. Pop pop. We did it. And that's how you get one badge only with an Encarta level 8. And if an Encarta isn't great enough for you yet, it can also learn cut. Zip zip. Talking about useful, we're gonna now start trying to use the first code that Victors is giving us, which is the return of PBV. Does it still work? Code successfully redeemed. Oh, it actually still works. This is awesome. And I'm really not joking. According to their Discord, what this code gives us is 300, B 300 BP, which is right, 75,000 Poké Dollars, 30 Ultra Balls, 25 Quick Balls, and also 14 Max Revives, one of the most rare items you can find. Oh my god. What? Uh, can you get starters everywhere? Okay, according to my catch rate, catching this Torque with a Quick Ball has a chance of 72%. Nice! Woo! Oh, Meryl. Really nice. Meryl level 9, chance to catch with an Ultra Ball is 91%. And if you wonder why I'm so excited about it to get a Meryl even though we have water, Meryl is also fairy typed, which will be pretty helpful against test dragons later on. Another torch wig, so they're not even rare. Okay. Oh my god. Did you, yeah. uh, I, I know that it's almost irrelevant, but I love this version for that already. Okay, Ultra Ball at about 18% or lower gives us about 68%. Uh, 69% even. So a couple balls should do it. And we have it. Nice. Okay, guys, but what I wanted to tell you is that I just remembered we got 300 BP. Means we can just buy ourselves a luck incense, which means we get double the money from every trainer battle. Okay, slowly I think they just put all the starters on all the routes. I can't imagine that I'm like, I don't know, getting them everywhere now. <laughs> And there we go. Next starter. Okay, slowly I feel like I'm more prepared for this term than the one in GOR. We currently have... We have a 24 ground water starter. We have a never level 11 water starter. And we have a water fairy Pokemon that will help us. Of course, we have some plants as well. But 
I'm pretty sure those won't be needed anyway, but it's nice how much power I have with me. So losing here is almost impossible. Okay, and here we are. With our Marsh Tom, Froki, and Azumarill, Growly, and Grodel gonna just farm some XP. But hey, at least they have a battle sound here. Uh, battle track. Battle theme. You know what I mean. Okay, gonna use Mud Bomb. Ah, not a one hit. Oh, I hope. <laughs> Critical water gun. <laughs> bye bye, Growly. Okay, this will be our final opponent. We're gonna use another water gun. I'm pretty sure that he can't do anything. Oh, at least he's tanky. It seems like I have to change my mind because we will have to use Esmeril as a finisher. Assuming that he will kill me now. He will. Damn, so he can start being my MVP. Okay, bubble beam. Zip. More than enough to kill you. Okay. Okay, second gym completed. Okay, and last but not least, and this is probably the most interesting part of this video, or at least <laughs> the one that I'm really looking forward for, we're gonna use the other two codes this game currently has, which are pretty strong, in my opinion. Number one is Starter Pack. I don't know why Starter Pack requires two gym bashes, but it does. And Starter Pack, when we're able to use it, yep, we are, gives us 10 Quick Balls, 10 Full Heals, 10 Rewives, 10 Hyper Potions, another 100 BP, and another 30,000 Poké Dollars. We can see here another 100 BP. Very nice, so I could buy a second luck and send if I would want. <laughs> but now, the code that I'm looking forward the most is PBV Revival! Exclamation mark. And the reason for that, why I'm looking forward to it so much, is the following. This code gives us 20 rare candies, two bottle caps, Five Master Balls. Yeah, five damn Master Balls. And one random shiny starter. Tradable. A tradable shiny starter. This is big pog. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's the first part of Project Bros. Victors. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the codes and I hope you're gonna have fun with the game as well the way to play is in the video description and here is nothing else to say then would be nice if you leave a like and subscribe and until next time have a great day bye bye